This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. So welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony, and this week we're going to be reviewing three items. We're going to review Whiplash by Joshua Janowski. We're going to be reviewing The Jar, um, which is by Cosmo, uh, Cosmo Magic Presents, The Jar. And then Hidden Agenda by Roberto Giobbi. Then I'm going to show you a couple of our cool products that we brought out and one super new release which is coming out in just two days time on pre-sale around the world. So we're super excited about it. We've got to be a little bit secret about it but we'll, we'll show you what the effect is. So yeah, let's get started. So this week we're going to start off with... Let's start off with Hidden Agenda. Because this is a very quick review, this. A hidden Agenda is £51.49. I was uh, kindly sent this as a review item from Murphy's Magic, so thank you very much for your review copies of these products. And this book is a true work of art, genius, fantastic, you must buy it. End of review, that's it. Simple as. It's got a million anecdotes, a million different uh, pages and dates and diaries that he's gone through of some amazing quirky ideas, openers, um, just things that you're going to use, things that information that could ignite your creativity or uh, improve yourself as a magician both stage and close-up. It's got some really nice ideas and I think it's only a wonderful little, well I say little, it's really thick, a wonderful addition to the or second version from The Secret Agenda which came out in, was it 2010 or something like that? Something like that, which was a hit all over. It's completely different, so if you've not got Secret Agenda, get that, because that is brilliant. But this is an amazing book. As you can tell, it's got a lot of pages on it. It's got 390 pages, uh, full of some amazing things. And what I kind of like about it, it's got some great pictures, it's got some great ideas, but also sometimes it's not always a full page being used. It's just a red and black card bet or a dissertation. It's just ideas and quirkiness while he's on his travels in a way so it's kind of um, card tricks for women always a interesting one and it's, it's just got some really nice ideas inside it so I would highly recommend this book it is worth £51.49 in every single way so uh, that is my review of Hidden Agenda let's give it a rating out of 10 and I'm going to give this I can't give it a 10 can I ah one day I'm going to have to but it's going to be a 9.5 out of 10 for Hidden Agenda Woo! 9 out of 10. Go Roberto Giobi. That's product number one. Let's move on to product number two. God, we're really steaming through it this time. I have 11 people watching. Hey guys, at the end of this review, I will have a look at uh, who's sent messages on here and I will reply to you all as well. And, oh, I will say this one though. Adam Wayne Evans. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Woo! How's that? Um, then I'll read the rest out in a minute. Loads of magic, please. Yes, okay. Um, so, let's go on to The Jar by Cosmo Magic. Now, earlier on I didn't say let's go to a trailer for the last product, uh, because there wasn't one. But there is a trailer for The Jar, so when this goes onto YouTube, we'll cut to the trailer of it now. This is all wrong. This is this is this is not right at all. This it's just a jar, man. It's just a jar. I'm taking over. I'm taking over right now. This is this is too much. You know, I've played with all those switch devices, all of them, and I've always wondered exactly what they what they are. These things don't exist in the real world. When you put one of those switch devices on the table, that's what your spectators are wondering. What exactly is this thing? The jar. Everyone knows exactly what it is. It's a jar. I have a card folded up. I'm gonna put it in the glass jar, the lid goes over the top. Now, what I'm gonna say to you, Megan, is that this is the very first thing I did. I want you to just take one of the cards, any one you want, and sign your name on it so I know that it's yours. The very first thing I did was this. I put this card right here. I put it in this glass jar. It was in there the entire time. The lid was on it the entire time, right? So it kind of makes you wonder, 
How in the world did I get Megan signed? Seven of hearts. <laughs> it's a jar. Of course, it does a lot more, but they're never going to know that. She signed the card and put it back in the deck, and then somehow it was in the jar the whole entire time. I don't know how we did it. <laughs> I don't know how we did it. It's completely inspectable. There's nothing to see here. It's a miracle. Oh my God. It's just a thing in the real world. So they're never going to talk about this. They're never going to notice it. And it's going to actually be a third hand for you. You're going to be able to switch things. You're going to be able to perform a lot of different magic. The thing is, is that your magic should always be about you and your relationship with your audience. Yeah, right. That prop should never take the attention away from you. They know what this is. It's, it's the job. The Jar. It retails at £46.99. Did you hear that correctly? £46.99. What do you think about that one, Ian? Too expensive. There we go. Says it all. End of review. £46.99 for this, quite frankly, is just a bit crazy, I think. Um, maybe there's some uh, amazing manufacturer that's gone into this item that I am not aware of. And uh, maybe the jars have been specially designed and, and glass made and everything else, which means and justifies the price being so high. Um, but I personally, there is a gimmick to this, so I'm not going to give away anything to do with the gimmicks. But inside here, just imagine a chop cup. You've got a similar sort of thing, but it allows you to do some, some quite nice things. But uh, first of all, it's just like a jar that you probably get from uh, Ikea or something like that. So... It's got a nice black top, I guess that's quite nice. Um, <laughs> it's a jar for crying out loud, what's so nice about it? Um, he explains how this is better than a chop cup for some things because it's glass on the inside, you can put in um, a card, the idea is. You put place in a folded up card and the card transposes from that to the card that's been in here from the very beginning. So the only thing nice, the routine he does at the point where he changes, um, because of the secret mechanisms within the lid which is built in nicely very well made that part of it is fine um because of the way it's made i still can't justify that price but because of the way it's made it does the job very well in terms of there's a note inside here you take off the lid and you just tip it out into your hand and now that will match the original card so in that terms it does work quite well but then of course you've still got the lid which you've got to put away in your pocket and that's a 10p coin you still have so a bit of ditching or clean up work to do and you have to carry a bloody big jar around with you wherever you go to do this trick so <laughs> um first of all if you're a wedding and walk around worker uh, even a chop cup for me that's just me being late not lazy just me being pocket friendly i don't want to be carrying a massive thing around me all the time unless I'm gonna run out of material and I need to. So at the end of the day, to carry that around with me is bloody crazy for walk around magic. Parlor magic, yes, not as big a market, but there is parlor magic, suitable. This could get work. So if I was doing a sit down show and you had a table and uh, this was on the side of the table with the card in it from the very beginning, then it could work quite nicely. Well, it could work very nicely, to be honest. So I'm not de decrying from the trick, it will work, is it the best uh, card to clear location or clear box location? I don't think so. But, you know, I still love the clarity box and I still think that's the best you're gonna get. So it just works. But in terms of that, a tiny bit of sleight of hand is required. You're gonna have to learn some very basic stuff. Mercury card fold as usual, I'm sure you're aware of that. And uh, apart from that, in my terms, I cannot see myself using this unless I was in a sit down situation or doing a parlor situation. I wouldn't maybe use it for stage, it's not big enough, so it's kind of one of those in-between sort of things. So there we go, that's my uh, my honest thoughts on this. The DVD does go on, go on teaching you quite a lot of information about the routines, it goes into detail, uh, but frankly, for me, it doesn't suit my style, it doesn't suit me, so, uh, or at least the way I do in walk around magic most of the time, so, so there we go. But I think the biggest thing is, it should not be for £6.99, it's too expensive. Um, come on guys, it's crazy. So if you've got a definite use for this, then get it of course. But for me personally, 
don't think it's it's for me. Um, this one, they come in different versions. I know UK, Euro, and a few different ones. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to say for this is rating out of ten, six out of ten. There we go. I think that's all right. Too kind. I think that's about right. I think that's about right. Six out of ten for the jar. Boom. Okay, let's move on to product number three. And we've not been interrupted by the uh, delivery man that is expected any minute or even a customer. So that could just totally mess up this review show. But that's what we like about doing things live. Um, okay, we still have how many people? 13 people watching. Woo! Okay, product number three, Whiplash by Joshua Janowski. Let's cut to a trailer of this product now. My name is Josh Janowski, and this is Whip. <coughs> this is Whiplash. Can I get a water? I might be a complete dork, but Whiplash is cooler than a grizzly bear riding a unicorn with a chainsaw. Whiplash. <laughs> That's great. But of course we can't because we're on YouTube. Each, uh, Facebook. So, Whiplash. First thoughts on it. Ooh, the packaging is nice. Yeah, the packaging is lovely. I'd love to know where to get these boxes from because I'm not... I hope I didn't show anything then. Uh, if I did, I, I will edit it out. Um, yeah, on here, the packaging is fantastic. Brilliant, I love it. I want to know where this packaging comes from. However, um, the card, my only criticism, my only, is that it's not on bicycle back. That's my only criticism. And to be honest, at first I thought that was a big deal, and now I've realised it's not in any way. Um, don't get me wrong, I would have preferred a bicycle gimmick so that I can get started straight away, uh, mixed it with my bicycle deck and started doing magic, but quite simply, you can't. You have to get this uh, the mandolin one. You have, to, you have to get a different version of this, and then it will work fine. It even will link in with a bicycle deck of cards. I don't think many spectators would even notice the difference, but I think, you, yeah, you know you would. You would, you would have to. Anyway, I'm cutting things and mumbling on here. It's got some great routines. It's got an hour and 30 minutes of video tutorial going into some great ideas for it. It really is a fantastic, fantastic gimmick. And I highly, highly recommend it. It's got some great ways of one minute having a card here and it jumps over here and it jumps here and it jumps there. Uh, oil and water, one minute you show them all uh, mixed up and the next minute they just instantly change right in front of your eyes so it's got some really really great ideas to it i highly recommend this product just for the amount of information you get and the fact it's only 18.99 18 pounds 99 for this uh, is exactly the price it should be and the best part is he also teaches you on the dvd how to create or the video online video how to create this version in bicycle card now it, that is done with um splitting and sticking. However, 
Don't forget, we run a printing business. If you need half a bicycle card and half of a regular card, or any sort of magic trick like that, printed on a playing card, on bicycle stock, that is exactly what we do. So just get in touch with us, printbymagic.com, go to support and go to the quick quote template form, quick quote form, send us in the request and we will be able to uh, get you a quote for that very reasonably, very quickly. So, but apart from that, it's a brill brilliant effect. You've got lots of cool root ideas and routines and for that price and that amount of information, I think you're gonna get some real uh, long life use out of this. And it's a gimmick that you can just carry around anytime, anywhere add or ditch away from your deck of cards very, very easily. So there we go, that is Whiplash by Joshua Jodowski. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna give that a rating out of 10, and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. There we go, I'm very generous today, aren't I? Very. Yeah, nine out of 10 for Whiplash by Joshua Jodowski. Really liked it, a fantastic product. So yeah, um, thank you for watching the review show this week. I must admit, yesterday I couldn't do it because I was almost dying. I was really, really ill. Uh, I was whimpering all day long, and uh, as you know, Ian, and it's like, at least I'm back on form now again, uh, almost. So thank you for watching the review show this week. I'm gonna show you just a couple of new things that have come out uh, for us. We've just been launched this now. It's just arrived the epic writer with one and a half hours of routines by some of the world's best mentalists around the world is all inside this package here. Available from your favorite magic dealer and of course the Magic World website. It's the world's first and smallest, world's first smallest ballpoint pen thumb writer. Uh, and it writes better than any other one you'll ever come across. Secondly, the one that's been selling like crazy is the Moroccan Wrist Restraint. Again, available from your favorite dealers and ourselves. Hopefully we are one of your favorite dealers. But the Moroccan Wrist Restraint, performed by Vinnie Segu, is an amazing real worker that you, instead of doing the old escape that you used to do with these kind of straps, you can now do a card trick. You make it fun, exciting, and it lasts up to 10 minutes. So you have a lot of fun with this. So that is now available on our website. And finally, the last thing, I'm not allowed to really tell you the name of this for another two days. So two days before I tell you the name of this trick, however, I'm gonna give you a sneak preview. If you're at Blackpool, you will have seen something tactical. So, here it is. I'm just gonna check myself on the screen here before I bring it in to make sure that it's on the correct height. Okay, so literally, you tic tacs and then deck of cards. So there we go. Then, you can take the cards out of the box, can now be completely examined, and now you can go into your favorite card trick. So there we go, that is a new trick coming out in two days time pre-sale around the world. Many magic shops are gonna be stocking this item. I'm not gonna go into any more details than that because we've said we won't advertise it for another two days. However, it's a product that is really cool and it comes in two versions. It comes in Tic Tac and Miniature Deck to Large Deck. Both come in the pack as one. So you don't have to pay twice, you get all of that inside it and 25 minutes of awesome video tutorials. So that was our best seller at Blackpool and uh, that soon will be available. Just keep uh, an eye out on your favorite magic shops around the world, Murphy's Magic for the dealers out there, and of course magicworld.co.uk. It will be on the front page very, very shortly. So thank you very much for watching this week's review show. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna say goodbye, but then I'm gonna go and check out all of these for the people on Facebook. So thank you for watching this week. I will see you next week. Ciao for now. I've not said that for ages. Okay. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and just drive. As usual, on the computer, then get straight into the action. <laughs> He's just laughing here and over there. Okay. And this week's hey, looking good, looking good. So, which to check? Ian, looking good. On the computer, then get straight <laughs> into.